Hey guys, welcome back to our Creek. I'm Dayton. And I'm Cody. And today we're building some rabbit cages for our new rabbit hutch that we're going to build. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Good job. Okay, so what we've done so far off camera was we got all of our wire out. We ordered this from Kluber Tons. They're out of Wisconsin. Um, they've got a lot of rabbit equipment. Um, this is 14 gauge galvanized after weld steel wire. You want to make sure if you're ever buying rabbit cage material, it's always galvanized after weld or else it will rust up pretty quick like the cages have behind me. This is a 30 inch wide piece and I've cut it eight foot long. That's going to be the entire length or the size of our new hutch system. We've laid out this other wire. This is the side wire and it is the kit saver wire as they call it. I'll show you that later. It's a little bit closer down here on the bottom. That way the babies can't fall through or crawl through like they would these and then fall out and end up dead. Daddy, they can't fit through these little itty bitty holes. They'll fit through those ones right here if they were down lower. All right, so instead of cutting every piece, we're actually going to bend it for the corners. But I have that idea of cutting and it didn't point. And it didn't like it. Okay, but what I need you to do is bring that end right there that you're standing on over towards me. So we grab that and fold it up this way. Thank you. Well, I can hold it down for you. Come stand right there, okay. So what I did was I measured the width of what the cage is going to be, which is 30 inches. And I'm going to go down through here and cut this, cut this off. And you want to make sure if you're going to cut this wire, you have a real good set of snips. Um, these are the Milwaukee 10 snips. Um, work really well, but either way, this wire is very hard to cut. Even with those. Mm-hmm. They're actually harder than concrete now. Not quite harder than concrete. Concrete is harder than anything, right? Almost. It's not harder than the head. <laughs> no, your head's harder than concrete. Mm, yeah. My head's almost harder than anything. No, was. Now we'll have to make the same thing. And we'll just lay it on that side, turn it that way. Then we'll get it all fastened together. All right, bud, come here. Now that I've got all four sides cut, what I'm going to do is use my J-clip pliers right here. These also came from Klubertons, and then some standard wire cage J-clips. I'm going to take these, wrap them around the bottom, and secure it all the way across. You don't have to hit every hole. Um, do it every probably four inches should be plenty.
And that's what it looks like after you secure your clip around. Okay. Go ahead and squeeze it. There you go. Good job, bud. The rest. Here you go. Squeeze it. I don't really want squeezing it. There you go. That's how you build a rabbit hutch. All right, well, now that we showed you that, I'm going to go ahead and go the rest of the way around this cage, get all this secured, then we'll put our dividers in. We're going to make these cages 32 inches wide and or actually 32 inches long and a width of 30 inches so that'll be plenty of room for the mamas and their kits whenever we get some babies you mean here the kids? nope baby rabbits are called kits So Dayton just said to come look because he found himself a dead animal. Let's go look at it, big buddy. Where is it? It's by my feet. What'd you say it is? I don't know. He said it was a big mouse. That's a mole. All right, so I got all the sides fastened on now. About every four inches, I stuck one of those small J clips to secure the cage. Now what I'm going to do is insert the solid dividers. Now they are about six inches too short. So I'm going to go ahead and get them in, get them secured. And then for the other six inches, I will just fill it in with some cage wire. So I'm just going to take my field wire here and stick it through there. I'll just twist it up. Like so. Then I'll cut off the remainder later. There you go. So I just stick it through there, twist it like that a few times with my hands. Feed it through. Back down through the bottom. Just, it's all pretty simple. It's just a little hard on your hands. All right, so I got both the separators put in. Now all I have to do is get that roll right there rolled out, flattened out, and then I'm gonna put it on top and get it secured. This roll is a half inch by one inch hole that is galvanized after weld. It's just some cheap stuff from TSE. It doesn't have to be the good stuff since it's just going on top anyways. I'll get that thrown on, get it secured. Then I have to get my doors cut in it and get the feeders cut. There's some holes for the feeders to go through and this cage will be finished. All right, now that everything else is finished up, I'm gonna start cutting this door in. I did change out my snips. These ones are a lot easier to use. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm making this door right at a foot tall. Then I'm gonna make it about a foot wide also. And I'm leaving it kind of off center. That way I can put a feeder over in this area. What I'm gonna do is cut some other wire that I've got the size of my door now. That way I can have it just slightly bigger than this size. Then I'll fasten it on and I'll put my door latch piece on and the door will be, will be finished and I'm going to cut the hole 
for this feeder to set right in there. Okay, for these, you don't want to squeeze them quite as tight as we were the other ones for around the cage itself. You want them to be able to spin easy since it is just a hinge for the door. All right, then I'll just get this. This is my door latch piece, also purchased from Kluberton's. I'll get that secured on and it will hook in just like this. All right, so I'll do that for the last two. And then this cage will be completely finished, ready for rabbits. All right, so while I'm out here, I may as well go ahead and feed. Thanks for watching, I appreciate it. Don't forget to go down there and hit that subscribe button and hit that like button, share that video. We greatly appreciate it. There you go, bud.